Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When I finally got my hands on Windows 8 in person at the Microsoft store here locally in the Seattle area, uh, you know, the clerk kind of explained a couple of the quick gestures to me, and I picked it up pretty quick, at least within the Metro interface. Uh, I do not have uh, a, a portable touchscreen computer uh, at all, uh, at least a PC, unless you count the iPad as a touchscreen computer, which it is, and and it, it really is, because when you use Metro for a while, you start to get the feeling when you jump in and out of apps that Microsoft has serious iPad envy, and that's cool, because I, the Apple needs competition, and Windows 8 could very well provide it, no joke. Uh, so pretend, you're going to have to pretend, because I do not have the equipment with me right now. Uh, we wrote an article, uh, if you are trying Windows 8 for the first time, uh, are you playing around with the consumer preview or the, the final edition, depending on when you're watching the video, how to use the start screen in Windows 8. And with a touch screen, uh, what was neat is you could swipe left and right. Uh, to close an application, what you do is when you're in the app, you want to close it, you go to the top of the screen, you swipe down, and it'll close. That was kind of neat. Uh, another swipey gesture, if, you, if you're on this side of the screen, you swipe this way, the start menu, not the start menu that you remember, but that menu pops out to give you more options. Uh, and another thing you can do is to swipe between uh, different applications that are open, you swipe this way, and you can basically uh, tab, quote unquote, tab between the applications, you swipe that way. Or, and this is kind of neat too, if you start swiping this way, you'll get like a, and you hold on to it, but don't like swipe all the way and let go, you s swipe and just stop short, you'll get a small little screenshot. If you hold it there and then move it back slowly to the, not exactly the edge of the screen, you'll see like a, a, a horizontal, I'm sorry, a vertical divider. If you let it go when that vertical divider's there, you'll have a split screen between the two apps, the one that was there before and the one that you're swiping to next. Or if you want to get a, a smaller menu of the five recently opened applications, you swipe, hold, and then swipe back. But instead of stopping, you swipe back all the way. So swipe, swipe like that. And what will happen is a little menu with, uh, I, uh, I guess, small screenshots of sorts will pop up in the sidebar, allowing you to switch between them. Kind of like a limited version of the way Android 4.0 uh, handles uh, task or uh, multitasking uh, or app management inside the operating system. So there's a few simple gestures that I picked up while using Windows 8 for the brief time that I did uh, this weekend. Those uh, gestures may very well change by the time this ships. But... Um, you know, honestly, I think Windows 8 is a good experience, but it's really going to shine uh, when uh, it's on a touch-based computer. It, it really is, guys. Give Metro a chance, but not on the traditional laptop or desktop. Don't expect that. The reason the iPad was so successful is because the operating system was optimized for touch. It was designed for a different paradigm of computing. And Microsoft Windows 8 with Metro has a strong chance of succeeding. If you want some other tips about using the start screen on Windows 8, take a look at the link in the description. If you want more information, you want more help with Windows 8, hey, that's what Locker Gnome's here for.